Hey guys, welcome back to another video of mine and today we'll be looking at the non-grade 1 to 100 Gundam Avalanche Axia this is of course by Bandai so this kit was released back in 2010 and it's actually from the continuation of the novel or manga if I'm not mistaken because the anime didn't come out on this only on Quanta so yeah, but nonetheless let's take a look at it since this is a re-release and then as well as they emphasize this kit on here is the mechanical detail so without further ado we shall take a look at review of this avalanche axia which is right behind here so the here is right in front of us is the avalanche axia non-grade 1 to 100 we of course start off with always doing a 360 rotation I have to do it very slowly to not make it fall although you guys um, see now it can stand properly but it requires um, several adjustments before you are able to do it um, if without the gen sword it can stand on its own perfectly fine I mean mount on the front is perfectly fine but if you put on backpack it's slightly back heavy so yeah so that's it for this 360 rotation we'll begin the review for the mobile suit by removing all of its weapons so now that all the weapons is removed we of course begin the video by looking at the articulation so the first thing the head here there's not much articulation you can look up like that but down you are limited because um, you are stuck with this heavy piece out here so let me just focus show you guys so you guys can see the piece here just hit bottom like that so yeah and then next here the next part is the top yellow piece here can move slide up like that can move all the way down it sort of act like a signal and of course in let me just show you guys the stickers okay i do my best to focus but you guys can see the only sticker part that it have is the top part here which is not covered and then of course the eye you guys can see the quality of it which is not too bad and then of course inside here you have another sticker and you are colored and you are being covered by a clear piece here and at the side here as well you have another and then at the back you have this um, triangle small triangle sticker it's a little bit tricky but uh, if once you put it in there yeah you, it is there so it's quite good so next off of course we shall move on with the hands my right hand side this hand is always easier for me to show you guys so of course the articulation here you have some gimmick over here you guys can see his armor piece here you can come out this to release the gen particles so yeah it's good that they remain and then you guys can see you can move up as well all the way up like that so again it's really good so the next thing of course here you guys can see maybe they say the mechanical details i mean for a 2010 product it's pretty good plus this is a uh, non-grade so yeah next of course the hand here can move all the way up it's almost 90 degrees but not fully 90 degrees because um this part here and the bulky armor as well but still nonetheless for it to be able to do um this high is good and of course you are you are being fixed with a ball joint hand and this is a prefix hand you are giving another one which is a open palm hand um my hand is a little bit too big but it's an open palm hand so yeah, I'll show you guys later on in the final part of the video where I'll set all the spare parts and so on but we we'll continue on here so then next year I'll move on towards the back so you guys can see and of course you guys can see here this part of course is like another gen particles this small part here and then inside here you guys can see it's being com this part, all this here is a sticker and then there's one more sticker I've forgotten where is it ah, um, it's here this part is also sticker so yeah if you can find the right placement then it actually looks quite good not that obvious that it is a sticker rather it looks like a different part of it so yeah now we just continue on and as you guys can see at the inside here you are giving with the the blue color the very soft piece flexible piece i would say which all non-grid have it for xr kits and so your articulation is not much I, I would thought that it is 90 degrees but it's actually not it goes 
maybe slightly more than 90 degrees but yeah I, I think that's more than enough for you to do your articulation pose and then you guys can see from the back here is the here is the what you call that gen drive yeah and inside here I'm not sure if you guys can see um, I don't think you guys can see but inside this rotating thing there's actually a one round of silver sticker it's actually very difficult but again like I say if you can find once you find the right place which is the gap in between each side where you put the sticker once you put there then it's fine so yeah and then at the back here is all the beam saber handle so yeah and next the body here you don't really have an up app uh apps what they call that app crunch or apps movement at the body here but you guys can still see it move a little bit so yeah and you are not exactly straight away put there is a one gray piece to combine on the top uh, top of the body and the lower part of the body so yeah i think basically that's really it for top half of the body so maybe you guys want to take a look a while with the how aesthetic it looks and of course the middle piece here is of course a big sticker as well um, although there, although it's curved the surface, but once you put it in, and then you have the clear piece to cover up, uh, you can't really notice the sort of crumper piece. I mean the sticker being crumper. So yeah, again that's good to see. So next up we move up both of the hands, so you guys can see this is how high you go because you'll be moving down to the lower body, and I want to look, do the articulation of it. So. Now we move on the lower body here. I start off with the skirt armor. So the front skirt, you can go up like that. Both of which, as you guys can see, is individual to each other. So yeah, you guys can do separate here. But of course, again, this is the maximum that it will go up. So yeah, and then here, both sides of course sticker again. Again, is it the sticker doesn't look too bad as long as you get it correctly. So yeah, next of course the legs. So you guys can see here the legs let me just make it down a little bit so the legs over here um, this part here you can see again can go all the way up like that to release the to release some gen particles to disrupt the communication system so yeah you guys can see like that can go all the way up and then just slide it back down then yeah just like that so next up we move up to the legs so of course as you guys can see this is maximum you can go Oops. This is the maximum you can go because the front skirt is being disrupted by the body here and this piece that's blocking. So yeah, and then like move out the move down again. So as you see as I move up, this is the maximum because you are being blocked by this armor piece here. So yeah, I mean this this piece is most probably will be in the floating mode rather than um on the ground. So yeah, but nonetheless, uh, you guys can see the Band. The band is mostly just like that, like I say. And because this piece here, the back skirt, let me just show you guys. This back skirt is fixed again, so you can't really move much. So basically, the leg articulation are pretty limited, um, so to say. But like I said, you it will most probably be putting um in a base, so you don't have to worry about that. And you guys can see here, these are the stickers. You have a total of one, two three stickers over here so yeah, again it looks good if you can put it properly um, based on my my kit in front I, I think I did quite a good job so yeah and then at the top here of course is with the blue flexible piece again you guys can see but this two piece is a little bit loose so better be careful and then yeah basically like that this is the maximum and you guys can go all the way out like that and then the legs you can actually rotate like that so in a way it's good so you guys can see it's not exactly 90 degrees as well slightly lower than 90 degrees slow uh, slightly lower than 90 degrees but yeah here it is just like that and then you can do of course rotation because um this piece the leg here you are being connect you are being connected with a ball joint so yeah that's a good thing and i think that's really basically it yeah you guys can see here that's why i remember the articulation can do much better so yeah here it is this is the articulation this is as much as you can go so you can see here that's opening up and then the side here like that so I mean nonetheless it still looks great 
but because the bulkiness of the armor together so your articulation is pretty much limited so let's move out the final piece here so basically the legs here the um full armor here can go up and down this is pretty flexible and then this part is like that just pretty i think it's pretty loose but it sticks into its position but like can just move slightly too easy and then the back here you guys can see the foot here can slightly slanting down basically to do its um floating mode so you guys can see the articulation over here so yeah basically that's really it i guess there's really nothing much to talk about the articulation except maybe most of the gimmicks and then the bulkiness of the armor and so yeah that's really it let me just move it back up now all the whole mobile suit is done we shall take a look at the weapons so of course the first part here you have the very um short short gn sword or the tongue twister thing and then yeah i guess you can just see i think it's actually quite detailed let me just focus so yeah you guys can see the handle here is actually very very detailed so i'm actually quite happy with it so yeah this short one is done next we take a look at the long one i mean basically it's just same just the length difference and you guys can see the both of it compared here so yeah just pretty normal uh, the gen sword and then next we look at this i forgot what is it called but yeah this is the normal xr weapon that it usually use that it usually uses so you guys can see here um the gun i mean the sword of course you can just put it in no the sword is supposed to slide it up like that to connect in front so yep here it is but again this is just a one big um soft gray grayish instead of having the silver color so if you want you guys can um go and paint it yourself so of course let me put it back up here like that and then of course here become the gen gun here you can just shoot out of it which usually the axia does that when he when he first appeared and then of course there is a slight articulation over here so yeah this part over here this small handle over here is supposed to be mounted onto the hand which i will be doing in a short while then this is to mount onto the hand and to attack its enemies and of course this little will be coming oops yeah this little will be coming in front like that so yeah again it looks very chaotic right now because it's not um put on the mobile suit but now without further ado we shall move on to mounting on this to the avalanche axia so this piece here um, this is for the mounting for the both GN sword, the long and the short one, which will be put on the backpack. I don't think you guys want to see um, just the XR holding this, rather you want to see the GN sword there. So just um, put it in here. There is a, there is, the mind, I just put that in. Here you guys can see there is a gap here. You guys here, and then here you just put inside. Actually it's pretty secure. Yeah. When I try to take it out, when I try to remove it from this hand, uh, the base there, it's also very difficult. So, uh, this the GN sword mounting, it's gonna be put on this side over here, on his left side behind him. So yeah, it's again, it's pretty secure. So don't need to worry about that. So now I shall show you guys the mounting on the. I don't know, was it, I forgot. I really forgot what was it called. When the beginning of the video, I still remember. But still, let's go. Um, this part over here shall open it again, and then this handle here you will want to put onto the hand. Let me just rotate up to the hand easier to show you guys. There are two parts. Once you guys can see this um, this top part here, and then as well as at the at the bottom here, just like a mount on. So let's go and move. Up a bit. It's exactly the same problem, but the left hand somehow I can't make it mount on. Rather, instead, the my right hand side can do it. So, I guess I'll just show you guys on the right hand here instead. So basically, just very easy on my right hand side of of the right hand side of the gunpla. Just I don't know why I can't do it on the left hand side. And of course, it is supposed to be blocking, but I, maybe the handle or anything I did wrongly. 
but let me just give it a second go and try so this is basically how it looks like on the right side so yeah guys here i finally did it i managed to mount on the left side of the gunpla the gunner avalanche xia so yeah this is how it looks like once everything is on its battling mode again i can't do everything when it, i am recording but i can do it always on off camera so yeah i still don't know why is that so and i'm still as well trying to figure out the right proportion like how is it standing because no matter what i do it doesn't look even if it can stand but somehow it just doesn't look um, balanced but yeah basically this is really how it looks like the gundam avalanche xia and now just let me show you guys its attack move so yeah basically here it is how the gundam avalanche xia looks like in his battle mode form when he's ready to challenge all the gen flex that's in front of him just perfect like that so yeah this is basically how it looks like so now i guess that's really it for the review for this quick um, avalanche xia review so now we'll take a look at what are the spare parts that it comes with so of course the very first spare part is this hand over here this part over here so it's pretty normal and now here it is the beam sabers or the beam saber effect part all four of it and then this part here um, you guys can see this of course the extra hands for the open it for the open hands of it and then here you guys can see this too is the Axia skirt I have the non grade 1 to 100 Axia as well I will be reviewing that soon as well and then here you have another clear piece over here and here we have another huge white piece here this is the GN shield the white color piece because the next part I will be showing you guys is none other than this grey colour piece here from the back so I and then here you have another hand and of course luckily I have the non grade 1 to 100 Axia so it will be having two shields I can't wait to build that and then here of course you have the remaining parts of the Axia the normal Axia here you guys can see here the what's that here is the back of the GN the GN drive and then here you guys can see another part here this i'm not really sure which part it is should be the legs because it looks like it if not it should be the shoulder armor so yeah basically these are the extra parts that you are left with when you have done building the avalanche axia so yeah again i guess that's really it for this quick um, review for the bandai avalanche axia um are there any issues uh like i said the only issues that i maybe have is with the legs i i just somehow can't find the right proportion to it somehow if i find the right proportion it will be like bending in front if i find the right proportion it looks like it's bending behind so yeah I, so i guess for this kit i recommend you guys to get a base for it rather than make it standing up right instead unless you can make it into the resting mode where the all the weapons are being mounted at the back of the avalanche xia then i guess that would be just fine for it or else i would recommend you guys to get a base along with this kit so are there anything else i don't think there's anything else anymore overall the kit is a very solid build i thoroughly enjoy building it but maybe the head as well you guys can see the head there's actually the two i would say cause sort of like the years of it the part kind of looks can't fit in that properly and it's actually quite loose so yeah so basically the years and the legs only i have a couple of just can't satisfy myself to get that perfect pose so yeah i guess that's it really for the review so of course if you guys have enjoyed this sort of quick review please do not forget to drop a like down below your likes are very much appreciated and of course for the future videos i will be com completing all of dragon momoko's product since dragon momoko of course um, yesterday's news i just posted is that dragon momoko is already ended gg and ready so there won't be any more dragon momoko products so i will i will be reviewing all the remaining dragon momoko products that i have yet to review so i hope you guys will stay tuned to that so yeah i guess that's really it for today's video 
I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you guys have enjoyed, again, please do not forget to drop a like down below. And if you guys are new around here, please do not forget to subscribe to me as there will be more videos like this kind or maybe news or figure reviews that you guys are interested. I will be, of course, reviewing them. So, yeah, until then, I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys in another video.